More pep? With more pep? Oh man, see this. <laughs> Okay, so let's jump in and let's nerd out on some product. And I think there's no better product to start with than the Quilted Tanker, one of our all-time bestsellers at Hugberry. And I'm guessing one of those pieces that's been around in the Railwind line for, for quite some time. Give us a little background on the Quilted Tanker, the inspiration, um, where it comes from. Well, we've been unable to kill it. Not that we want to kill it, <laughs> but but we, we continue to find new ways to, to possibly flavor it and evolve it so it's not the same thing each and every season, whether it's a tweak on the fit or, you know, just reinforcing a buttonhole differently than we did the previous season. It's Those are the little things that we nerd out about, is little tiny details that the customer probably never sees, but we know they're there. This is a baby that's been with us since probably 2014. So it, it's probably going on its sixth or seventh year at this point. And it's had little subtle evolutions, whether it's the way the pockets uh, have been attached at the hip, or the way that we stitch through the pocket at the chest, or just the scale of the collar. You know, the stand-up collar is not just this faux collar, it's there to actually, you know, seal you up and like have some warmth factor against, against elements. It is kind of a mashup of utilitarian style mixed with military. Um, from the way that the, the vertical zipper on the chest you know, it lays on the chest to the vertical inclination of that zipper. It's very easily accessed, you know, the way you go in sideways with your hand to access your wallet, your phone, uh, all the things you like would typically need in a hurry. We don't put that pocket in the interior because frankly, it's a lot easier to get to a pocket on the outside of the jacket. So often we don't want the detail on the inside of the jacket. It's easier to have it on the exterior. Uh, it's more utilitarian that way. It's just more purposeful and more functional, and those are all the things that we, we gravitate to. The opposing pocket also cut to your iPhone size, so it's equally adaptable, although we find that we're typically, more than anything, I mean, stylistically, we like the balance of having that, that pocket there. Mm -hmm. um, whether you use it or not, it's actually placed in such a way that it runs uh, perfectly horizontal with the opposing pocket. The use of this jacket is kind of an all-arounder. I mean, this guy is kind of your utility player. In terms of age, there is no age for this type of jacket other than you've got to be able to the right fit to wear it. The fabrication, it's a nylon cotton. It's like 27% cotton. The nylon in it actually makes it stronger and lighter. It dulls the sheen on the fabric because nylon fabrics can sometimes be shiny. Because of the cotton content in this, it almost also serves reference to a vintage fabric that you'd find in a Vietnam issue pull-on pant. Um, those are the type of fabrications that influence in, us in our fabric selections. So there's nothing dorked out about fabric. It's a, it's a high performance fabric in terms of something that was like built to like for the military. Then we put polyurethane on the backside of the fabric to actually make it water resistant. Um, again, we stitch a lot of needles in this, so we can't refer to it as a waterproof jacket because we do not seam seal under every one of those you know million stitches that's in this jacket. But instead, we've got a garment that, that's going to keep you fairly dry. Everything that we're using these days is recycled where we can do it. Um, it makes sense to, to do it. So the fill content, the 60 gram fill, is actually there really to create a transitional warmth. This is a transitional jacket. It's a great jacket to wear from your house to your car in your garage if you live in northern Minnesota. Because it's not the kind of, kind of jacket that you're going to wear out there when it's 20 and, and uh, 15 degrees. Um, you're probably going to like need to layer up with some heavy sweaters if that's the case. All of our garments, we really believe in layering. So the whole idea of um, wearing it for, you know, over a t-shirt and going, okay, well I can only wear that to 30 degrees, doesn't make sense in our, in our, in our judgment or, or the way we think about clothing. Besides, layering just looks good. The zipper actually stops about five inches from the bottom hem. And that's also so that you could actually sit in a vehicle without unzipping it. So like, I, I drive around in a Jeep that, that works. I should say Land Rover, a Defender, that, that basically doesn't have heat. So I will wear jackets like this in, the in winter, in yeah. the car. And so it needs to be, I need to be able to unbutton it and have to splay open at the bottom hem and still see, you know, have some warmth around my body. Um, it's such a little detail, but when you describe it, everyone knows that moment when they get into a yeah. cold car and they've got a long jacket with a zip and you crunch so, up. So it either needs to be a two-way zipper when it's like that, which we'll do on a longer zipper garment, like our channel border jacket. Right. But on a quilted tanker, you know, this is a one-way zipper. We want to open it. We want it to be ease of use in this case. And so there's no reason for that zipper to really extend past the belt loops or yep. past the belt. And that's how this is cut. So when you bend, that's, that's where it stops. And that's the purpose for it stopping there. Some people go, why, why doesn't it go to the very hem? Well, because that wasn't functional. And if you actually look at old vintage military garments, 
they were never created that way. They all stopped, you know, at a point just above the, or at the waist. There's also the pleats in the elbows here, which another military feature, something we also build into our bottoms. Um, but it puts fullness where you actually are, where your, where your elbow like needs like room to move. And so it adds fabric, probably a full, you know, inch and a half of fabric across the elbow area of the garment. It also provides like some natural articulation in the sleeve. You know, it's the way, way our human anatomy worked. It was like, you know, nobody's cut it's like a reverse. straw man. So we put those details in there because there is a purpose to that shape and that detailing. And then you've got certain details like this. You've got the brush trico that we put behind every pocket. Also happens to be inside of all of our pocket bags, even though it doesn't necessarily need to be soft there because it's not like this is a hand storage pocket. That small detail, and I know other jackets do have that, but, but most don't in, in my, the jackets that I am. Um, and I remember when I got my first quilted tank or when I first started at Huckberry, um, it was one of those details that you, you don't think about it, but you put your hands in there, and it's like a wonderful little surprise in yeah, your life. Yeah, and yeah. I forever now judge jacket pockets if there is not That's a liner awesome. in them. So These are little hallmarks, frankly, that we, after we said, oh, that works there, it's like, well, why don't we do that everywhere? Right. And so we don't do a jacket that doesn't have that detail in there. You know, just like, you know, we don't do a jacket that we don't reinforce our snaps with another piece of woven tape behind the snap feature, you know, on a pocket bag. The one thing I also love, correct me if I'm wrong, like the, the style played in this, making it a little more unique, is every year there is some contrasting lining inside. And so this, this is our Huckberry Rowan exclusive for this season. Yes. We've got a camo that you'll see in a couple different garments. But it is one of those details, again, when it's zipped up, you don't see that, but me knowing that and owning this jacket, it is one of those things, again, where you go back to like the joy when you put something yeah, on. Yeah. It's like my little secret, you know? I've got a yeah. like, cool well, inside. Hey, you might, you know, show up at the party and throw it down the couch yeah. and go, oh, we know whose jacket that is, exactly. too. It's like That's the signature thing, it's kind of fun. Yeah. It, it, it's a personality, you know, bottom line is, we don't want to create just dull, right. uninspired garments, and so, it makes us, you know, if it can throw a smile on your face, yes. do it. Yeah. So I love it. Even this little uh, terry, this little French terry piece that we put in the back neck, it adds softness, but also, frankly, it just adds personality to the garment. So it also is like a little Rowan feature that's unique to our, our quilted tanker jacket. Yeah. Let's um quickly talk fit. And this is, I think, in my size. So we're gonna, in real time, do a little fit check. I've got a, would you call this a mid-weight sweatshirt? This is one of, yeah, this is... Yeah, that's our spring, a spring weight sweatshirt. Spring, spring weight. So it's got a little heft to it, but it's not a thick, thick, burly sweatshirt. This is an extra large yeah, in a quilted yeah. tanker. So would you say this is, this is probably the right size for me, especially if I'm layering? You know, yeah, because you're probably going to wear more than that thinner sweatshirt uh, in a winter element. Yeah. Well, there's those hand warmers. Yeah, but you have the versatility on this guy to like, you don't always have to, I mean, a lot of guys will use the zippers. I'm a but I'm a snap slash button guy. So mm. a lot of times, I like the dual closures just because it just looks looks cool, tougher. Yeah, you know. So you don't zip. You so go straight I, button. I just go straight snap, and I just do a couple snaps, and then I'm kind of groovy. Yeah. You are more patient than I am. <laughs> well, no, I'm not patient, which is why <laughs> I do the snaps because it's it's just easy. It's easy to easier easy. to come off. I'm all about ease. Yes. So yeah, I'm six to two fifteen ish on a good day, not after last night and a big meal. But um, I mean, I definitely, this, this feels like the right size. I think I've, I've worn a large before. That looks good on you. But it's with a t-shirt or a lighter layer. Like, yeah. like you said, if I'm gonna go anything heavier than this or even put a vest on underneath this when it's colder, I'm gonna want the extra large for, for someone like me. But it's relatively like, you would say true to size. On it, based, for your yeah, jacket. it's a classic. Yeah. And you know, obviously all of us are our own custom made bodies, so it's, it's an experience that you've got to, you know, not everyone wants to wear the product the same way right. or other. This is a good jacket down to freezing, you know, mm -hmm. but then throw on some sweaters and you're probably talking down to 20. Yeah. Um, yeah. And, and you said, I mean, this is a great weight to not only layer underneath when it gets colder, but it also works at in even colder temperatures if you've got a, a hardy shell, whether it's like a big Gore-Tex weatherproof or the, putting over the top. It's top thin enough it. where you yeah. could definitely put 
not thin's the wrong, wrong word, but no, but it, it has a thinness to it. Yeah. You're not buying this and thinking, oh, you're going to mistake this for a down jacket, right? You know, right. It, it's it's it is a transitional piece. Yeah, you know, you probably as as it's as friendly at 50 degrees, you know, right. to wear. Yeah. So there you have it, the quilted tanker from Rowan. Uh, if you've got additional questions. And, and you shouldn't. Jamie covered this jacket inside and out. But if you do, make sure you drop them in the comments. We'll make sure to get back and answer them. If you want to check out the jacket, whether it's our exclusive or the other colors that we carry, link is in the description. And as always, make sure you like the video. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube. We're going to be talking more products with Rowan. So stay tuned. But until then, we'll see you out there. Signature pieces for what went. Bit my fat tongue again. <laughs> <laughs>